Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Fire 7 tablet, $50 tablet from Amazon, and I wanted to test out some Dreamcast emulation. We're going to hop right in here and start with San Francisco Rush 2049. Some of these games I will be able to display the sound with and some I will not due to copyright. So just use your imagination. So my sound is being recorded from the microphone on the tablet. I'm using a app to screen record with. I was able to up it to 12 megabytes, but it's still not perfect. I'm still trying to find something, some way to record this screen at a really good 1080p or 60 frames per second. But it looks like San Francisco Rush is not going to work very well. Lots of graphical glitching going on. So we'll move into it, and we're going to try Sonic Adventure 2. Now with this game, I have to turn the sound off. I believe the song is copywritten, so sorry, guys. I am very impressed by the performance of this tablet. I mean, for 50 bucks, this is a great tablet to get. I've tested several emulators, and I have more videos coming. It just takes a little while to make them, edit them, render them, and then upload them. So bear with me, guys. I have a lot more coming. This is running pretty smooth. I am using a Bluetooth controller. It is a Nyko PlayPad Pro, and you can get them for about 10 bucks on Amazon. And if you don't have a Bluetooth controller, that's one of your best bets or your cheapest bet. I suggest getting the the Mad Cat CTRLR and make sure you get the Android one if you want to use it with Android. But it is one of the best feeling controllers and it works super good. So we've got a little bit of lag when we come up on a couple things, but it's not too bad for this quad core tablet. I just can't seem to get on there. Man, both of these. So the frames per second is listed up in the top left hand corner. I'm trying to record at 60 FPS. I'm not sure if it's really recording at that. And I'm only getting 12 megabytes a second. So the video quality is degraded. It doesn't look too bad for recording straight from the tablet though. So the game's definitely playable. Let me run through here a little bit more and I'll switch to another game. It seems when I come up on the robots and start smashing them up, I get uh, some low FPS. And it's just uh, particle effects and stuff like that, slowing the emulator down. Now as time goes on, this emulator is only going to get better, and we'll probably be able to run most games at full speed. But as you saw, that San Francisco 2049 just glitched a whole bunch. I'll do the rundown and we'll quit this game. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and exit this game and we'll go to something else. We're going to be testing Jet Set Radio, otherwise known as Jet Grind Radio. But this is another one of those games I have to turn the sound off because I can't turn the music off within the game. I'm going to skip this intro, get right into some gameplay for you guys. So I had to start out in the tutorial. We're pretty much steady at a 30 FPS frame rate, which I believe is the same frame rate it ran on the Dreamcast. And there's not that many glitches going on. Some units I've tested on uh, really mess the textures up on the cars and the trucks and stuff like that. But this is looking pretty good. So I am enjoying this tablet. I've installed a bunch of stuff for my kids also. And I'm probably, when they go back on sale, because they usually go on sale every few weeks on Amazon and Best Buy, I may grab another one or two of them, just give them to them. But I'm definitely going to put Cyanogen on it. I haven't even gone back to the Fire OS at all. There's no reason to. But I'm going to make a tutorial very soon. Like I said, it takes a lot of work to get these videos done. I got work, I also have two kids, so I try my hardest to get as many videos out as I can for you guys. Some days, it just doesn't work out. A couple devices I tested it on, I was not able to spray paint. Um, I don't know what it was, some kind of glitch within the emulator. As soon as, I, as soon as she's finished, we'll see if it'll work. But this game is definitely fully playable. You could use the on-screen controls, but I hate on-screen touch controls. They're horrible. I need physical buttons. Let's see. All right. Cool, so you should have no trouble playing this on the Amazon Fire 7. Now, I'm not sure what to call this tablet. They have so many Amazon Fire 7s. This is the $50 Amazon Fire 7 2015 edition. The cheapest one they make. So let's get out of here. Game looks good. 30 FPS, not too bad. We'll test another game and see how it plays. We're going to try Crazy Taxi 2. Now, I've had a lot of trouble with a lot of devices running this game. It just will not. I get an error, and it goes to a black screen. And no matter what, I can choose 50 or 60 hertz, and it's still... Yeah, this is... It's not going to play. I don't know if it's the... I've actually tried two different ROMs, so I don't think it's the ROM. Some devices this plays fine on, like my NVIDIA Shield TV console, but a lot of these smaller devices just give me an error and go to this black screen. There's no way back. We have to force close. Recast. Load it back up. So some lower end devices do have trouble running this. This is a very fast paced 2D game. And it has trouble rendering the sprites correctly. And I just chose Psylocke, and if you can see, Mero is in my selection screen right there. Which is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure I just chose, yeah, I did Psylocke right there. She kind of looks like Guile, the uh, Mero girl. So my higher end devices do render this at 60 FPS. Um, I guess it's playable at 50. Not too bad. I'm just gonna go through this uh, level really quick. And we'll try one more game. Stop it! Stop it! 
So it's really not that bad, a couple frame drops here and there, but 50 FPS is definitely playable. Um, not competitively, but if you just want to enjoy the game, you can definitely play it at 50 FPS. So the last one I'm going to test here is Power Stone 2, one of my favorite Dreamcast games of all time. I will be making more gameplay videos on Dreamcast. Everybody's going to be like, why didn't you test this, why didn't you test that? I will. I'm going to make the videos. I just wanted to get these out of the way first. This game seems to run great on a lot of devices, so hopefully we get full speed emulation. And at full speed, I chose 50 hertz when I started, which I always do with this game. Sometimes it will not display correctly if you choose 60. We will only be able to hit 50 FPS. And it looks like we're... Steady at 50. We'll see what happens when we get into gameplay. And there's a lot of stuff going on. We got some glitches and events there, as you can see. That happens on a lot of these uh, devices. So, yeah. 50 frames per second. Down 45. Had a little bit of frame drop. I mean, you can't complain. This uh, runs really good for the tablet. And a lot of these emulators run very, very well on this tablet, so. Oh, no! Yeah. 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 
So that's it guys, that's the Recast Dreamcast emulator running on the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. I have more videos coming, I have PlayStation, FBA, MAME, DS, PSP, I have a bunch of videos coming, so just hold tight, they'll be here. And the best way to stay up to date is hit that subscribe button. Also, if you could, hit that like button because it really helps me out. So just stay tuned, guys. Hold tight. They're all coming. Like always, thanks for watching.